Hey guys, it's July 19th, 2021. I haven't done a DeWitt update since last month. And uh, I'm not expecting to see a whole lot of differences in the court cases, but we're going to take a quick look at them. Um, I was going to do a straight from Fallujah theme kind of thing, but I'm, I'm not going to dishonor those that have actually served by doing that, I'm just going to stick with my uh, my normal background and, and just go with that. Because, uh, let's face it, anything that Jeremy says, if his lips are moving, he's lying. And all of his military stuff's been debunked. And he is a stolen valor phony uh, to the extreme Florida man level. But uh, let's take a look at his court cases and what's going on with that stuff. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is Orange County. And uh, let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger for you. So, as you can see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven open cases currently. Uh, all felonies, criminal felonies. And the first one is the one that... Uh, this is the one that he pled no low contender. Um, so right now, uh, it's set for a sentencing, sentencing hearing on August 3rd, and I will be prepping to leave for Sturges that week. So I don't know if I'm going to do another video on this, uh, lovely individual or not prior to my leaving. But uh, he's got a, a sentencing hearing on 8-3. And what's going to take place during that sentencing hearing is they're going to look at the other two charges involved. So he was adjudicated guilty on the sex offender failure to register. The false registration, um, the two counts on that, they, they will be discussed during the sentencing hearing. Here's the document on it. Um, all three of them are third degree felonies and like I said the sentencing hearing is scheduled for Tuesday August 3rd at 9 a.m. Uh, they've got 30 minutes reserved for this counts two and three to be addressed at the sentencing date uh, they modified his conditions of release to delete the home confinement and he was released on pretrial confinement and uh, of course we've already talked about the terms of that uh, divest himself of all metro state holdings do not carry possess any type of weapons including the pepper ball gun the utility belt all that stuff uh, cannot undertake any activities other than those required to divest himself from association with Metro State. Of course, the no contact with Jennifer Burton, and uh, they have the 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew, which is still in effect. And if we go back, and we'll take a look at the next criminal felony that's open. That's scheduled for a hearing, a trial. Uh, he's got a pretrial conference on the 27th, which will be next week. <clears throat> and then the uh, hearing and the trial is set for August 9th. So I may cover that, but I'll be covering that from Sturges, South Dakota. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how my internet and all that stuff does while I'm there. And also, it's got the uh, pretrial release supervision and the document on that, which basically uh, just outlines what I just talked about. Yeah, it's just, this has been going on and on and on and on, and it's ridiculous. I mean, this goes all the way back to... Uh, February 21st, 2020. Probable cause supporting documents went in on that date. Uh, 
it, it's just, this has just been dragging on way too long, as all of them have been. Um, not as bad as Osceola County. Of course, the judge over there uh, has some ties to Jeremy's lawyer. And we'll take a look at those. I'm going to have to resize this window a little bit so you can see it all. Just bring that down just a little bit. So as you see here, he's got three open cases. Uh, the first two are sex offender registry cases. The third one... Let's see, let's see. Open, open, open. Let's open that. Oh, that's another sex offender. One of these is not the sex offender one. Just not sure which one it is. Oh, here's a dating violence injunction. And this is with another judge. So I'm not sure what's going on with this one. And it's, uh, oh, that's a closed case. All right, let's get back to the open cases. That's failure of, I'm not sure what's going on with their website here. Uh, open, open, open. Jeremy DeWitt, open. Oh, falsely impersonating. Here we go. We found it. That's same charge, uh, same statute. This one is just ridiculous. And this is the judge, uh, Keith Carson, that's been implicated as being uh, in private practice with Ladin from years ago. But uh, this one goes back to March 3rd of 2020. There was a pretrial. But look at the, uh, the case dockets. This is just, this is totally on call. All the way back to 11-15-2019, the case was filed. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. The wheels of justice are broken in Florida. So he's still got the three open cases. He still has the three open cases in Osceola County, as well as the seven or so that are listed as open in Orange County. Um, Man, this this is the uh, the stuff that'll that'll never end. It seems like. However, uh, he has been missing in action. Nobody's seen or heard from him. He hasn't made any uh, media appearances. There's been no movement whatsoever on the Metro State uh, YouTube site, which I believe he had to divest himself from that as well. However, all the damning videos that uh, Miss Burton posted. Uh, the unedited versions, which showed a totally different light on what Jeremy had previously posted, are now amiss. And uh, haven't heard much out of her either. So this is really weird. I don't know if uh, his attorney finally put the clamps on him to where he's not out there uh, making a fool of himself any longer. But... Still nothing on the uh, stolen valor, um, and you know I don't I don't know if the authorities are going to take that up or not. Uh, it's not due to lack of trying on my part and on many other people's parts. Uh, I know they the FBI has been contacted, the state attorney's office has been contacted, all in regards to the stolen valor stuff. Um, whether or not anybody's going to pick up that flag and run with it and uh, try and come up with the elements of the crime to where they can file charges. I don't know. The Florida statute's very easy to prove that. Um, all they would have to do is get a list of his uh, clients and 
see if the reason they gave him any of his jobs was due to his military service and his military claims, and then they could file those charges. You know, still not letting that go. And uh, I will try and keep Jeremy in the forefront as a stolen valor fraud, special forces fraud, combat fraud, uh, military fraud, ROTC ranger school fraud, or any other lies that he might want to come up with. I'm sure they're easily debunked when it comes to any type of military training whatsoever. Other than the training that he got from guys that were in the National Guard that worked for him when they were doing their 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 lovely uh, tactics in the videos that was, oh my God. Yeah, uh, the only reason I would follow any of them into combat would be out of curiosity. Uh, it's just to see how bad it's going to go. Um, that's a terrible thing to say, but yeah, that's the way it is. Anyway, just a real quick short update. Um, there's another channel, uh, Law Talk with Mike, I think is the name of it. He j He's just dipping his toes into the Jeremy DeWitt rabbit hole. Uh, he's up in Chicago. He's a lawyer. And uh, his reaction to a couple of the videos, he just posted a video on it. It, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, so check him out. Some some good stuff. And uh, I think everybody's kind of starving for content because uh, Jeremy's gone dark. Gone completely dark after he was released. I don't think he enjoys being incarcerated. And he does not want to jeopardize his current state of freedom by uh, violating any of his terms, which I wouldn't be surprised if he has. It's just his personality, and we know from his uh, his previous uh, releases, so on and so forth, that, you know, he's, he's, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, hey, if you like the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of any new media that gets uploaded. Uh, if you're out there riding on twos today, make sure you keep that shiny side up, rubber side down. Have yourself a great day.